Today I effed up the plans my girlfriend and I made to sleep together while camping with her family. A couple of nights ago I, 19 male, was camping with my girlfriend, 18 female, and her family. It was night one of our three-day camping adventure. My girlfriend shared a tent with her mom. I shared a tent with her brother, 22 male. The dad shared a tent with no one. When everyone was supposed to be sleeping, my girlfriend approached my tent and woke me up. She had beginner-level stealth mode skills because her brother was wide awake when she was done unzipping our tent. Not the end of the world. My girlfriend and I anticipated that outcome during our brainstorming session at the beginning of the trip. As per our plan, my girlfriend said she had to pee, which was my cue to say, I'll walk with you. This was meant to be the first phase of our secret mission to have sex in the woods without the family knowing. However, I literally forgot about the secret mission. I never said, I'll walk with you. Instead, I asked the brother if he was keen to come with us because it seemed less ominous to be wandering in the woods in the middle of the night if we were more than two people. The brother shrugged and said he might as well pee. My girlfriend stared at me like I made no sense to her. She said if I didn't want to be alone with her, then I was more than welcome to be alone with her brother. I had to exit my tent without being fully dressed because she stormed off without warning. She disappeared. I repeatedly tapped on her tent and whispered, Babe, enough times for the person inside the tent to finally respond. It was her dad. I was at the wrong tent. In my defense, it was dark. I was still recovering from a dream I had about being born with teeth growing out of my tongue, and not to mention all our tents looked the same. The dad asked what I was doing barefoot in my boxers in front of his tent. I said nature was calling and I was looking for someone to keep me company. The dad connected the dots and asked if I was hoping that someone would be his daughter. I had no idea how to respond. The dad nodded as if my awkward silence was an undeniable yes to his question and sarcastically asked if I wanted his daughter to hold my hand or something smaller. Again, I was unable to comment. The dad put on his boots and emerged from his tent with torches and toilet paper. I said I didn't need toilet paper. The dad said it was for him. I peed, the dad pooped. I was forced to shut my eyes and think happy thoughts because the dad sounded like he was puking mud. On our way back, the dad suggested that I share a tent with him from now on. I was too traumatized to turn him down. The dad and I have been sharing a tent ever since which made it impossible for my girlfriend and I to have the privacy we planned for. I'm currently not in the best boyfriend category with the girlfriend. Too long didn't read. My girlfriend and I secretly planned to have sex while we were camping with her parents, but when it was time to execute the plan, I ended up sleeping with her dad instead. That's the end of this story. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's see what the commenters have to say. First comment. Hilarious for ragging on her. Beginner level stealth mode. And then immediately following it up with forgetting there was even a stealth mission. Next comment. Don't feel bad. There was zero chance that plan was going to end up okay anyway. Even if the two of you managed to sneak away and have sex, everyone back at the campsite would have figured it out by the time you got back. Always remember that parents were kids once, too. They know what you are doing or want to do. Another comment. As someone who has done a significant amount of camping in general but especially with groups of teenagers, as a chaperone, you may think you're stealthily sneaking off for sex. But you rarely are. Everyone almost always knows exactly what is going on. The woods are quiet at night. Even whispers carry. There is no such thing as secret camping sex. Something you will probably also learn and that will become more important as you age and actually have regular access to much more comfortable places to have sex. Camping sex is not ideal for so many reasons, particularly hygiene and bugs. You're not able to wash things pre- or post-sex the way you really should, and you also end up getting your sensitive bits bitten by mosquitoes, black flies, and other bugs. Unless you are camping by yourself, everyone else knows whenever you're banging or trying to bang. Final Comment you realize even if your plan had gone off perfectly, her brother would just assume you two had sex? You really weren't going to fool anyone. Thank you for listening and watching. Please let me know what you think about this in the comments. 
I would love to read about what you have to say. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I have. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel. Have a nice day.